Today we're gonna to take a plain canvas and we're gonna create something gorgeous for your home. You gotta watch this. Welcome back everybody. Today we're gonna to take this 10 by 20 canvas and we're gonna make a glitzy little picture out of it. My daughter loves the color teal, silver, all that kind of fun, beautiful colors. And she has just one little space in her house where she just doesn't know what to put in there. So we're gonna take and make this for her house. So stay tuned, I'm gonna gather all my materials and I'll let you know what we're using. The first thing that I've done is cover my work surface so that I don't have to worry about cleaning up a big mess later on. So what we're gonna need is any paint brushes. I'm gonna use Mod Podge. I just keep this in a little container. I have got just a variety of glitters. You can use anything that you want. This happens to be a mixture that I recaptured after uh, doing a different project with a tumbler. I've got uh, some really sparkly glitter from uh, Target and that'll be something really cute to be able to use too. We'll show you a little bit more about that. The paints I'm gonna use are um, a Gleam paint. It's a, uh, an acrylic by Delta and it is called, it's got a pearl finish to it. So it'll be kind of shiny. This is folk art and it's called Glitterific. And this one here I got at Walmart. And then you can use a uh, silver from folk art. Okay. It's just a metallic color. You can use anything you want. And the other thing we're going to use is I don't think I'm gonna use this one, but I can't find my other at this point. So uh, this is from Michaels and it's just vase filler and it's real fine. See how it's kind of has a mirror finish to some of the pieces? That would give some texture. But what I'm gonna use is, this is almost, I don't know if you can see it or not. There you go. Um, this is more like confetti type stuff that you're gonna use for, uh, weddings or whatever for uh, tables. You can also use it to um, uh, fill vases and do different things with. I don't have in teal the vase filler that I just showed you, so we're just gonna wing it, okay? The other thing we're gonna need is Mod Podge, uh, like a spray. Mine happens to be a matte, and I'm probably not gonna use that exact one, um, but I don't have gloss. So, first thing that we're gonna do is paint our canvas and this is just I think we're gonna do this I think we're gonna do this vertically but in the meantime I'm just gonna go ahead and do some painting okay no rhyme no reason no special way you have to do this What I want to do is coat the top of this and I'll get the sides as well and the top. And I'm going to do this about halfway. And you can use, like I said, any brushes, any color paint, whatever works with your home. This would make a great Christmas gift or a, a gift for um, a bridal shower or something like that. All right, I'm gonna set that brush aside. Let that sit for just a second. And I'm probably gonna put a second coat on this, but we'll go ahead and start with our silver. Let's use this one. And I can see I'm probably gonna have to have a couple coats but we'll see how this turns out. This could be the brush as well, so. And having streaks and stuff like this could be pretty cool. But we're just gonna coat the whole thing sides and top or sides and bottom as well. And 
And I do want a better coverage on this. So I'm probably gonna switch my brush. Yeah, I may actually mix, it, mix this with a little bit of gray too. And once we get this covered, we're gonna let it sit for a few minutes before we start having fun with it. Yeah, I like this. This brush is working much better for us. I decided I needed to add another color with this because the silver just wasn't doing it. So this is Apple Barrel Pewter Gray. And what I did was put on a little bit of the metallic paint and then uh, did a good coverage on it. And I'll show you what I did here. Came all around everything, made sure I kind of got it covered. Okay, I decided to put a second coat of the white paint on and I think I'm gonna give this a bit of a texture. So I'm doing is pouncing the brush on just in different angles. I'm just gonna be silly here and see how this works. I am just taking some of the silver metallic trying to incorporate a little bit more silver into this gray this could be a really fun project to do with the kids or very inexpensive project if you didn't have a whole lot of money to decorate your home. Oh, as the bottom layer is drying, this is getting some dimension to it. As this continues to dry, I'm now taking my glitterific paint from Folk Art that I got at Walmart, and I'm just taking my fingers and going in, and I'm being able to create some dimension. Because those bottom layer and that top layer are starting to dry. We're going to have some beautiful texture on both sides. We've got where we pounced with the brush on this side. And then also where we've got the different uh, layers of paint and kind of pounced on that a little bit, if you want to call it. Um, as it was drying so that it was creating texture. I'm gonna show you what we've got so far. Can you see the texture and see the shine, the glimmer, I guess we'll call it? And then over here, hope you can see that. Let me see if we can get one of the lights over here. That one's broke. There we go. I think you can see that now. So what our next step is, is we're going to take our Mod Podge. So we know, and look at that, we're dragging some of the other color in, which is cool, but some of it's going to be covered up anyway, so I'm not going to worry about it. But we know we need to cover all of this. And we do want to make sure we get up into these different sides. And we don't want a total coverage. That's why I am just kind of dotting it here and there.
and we can always add more if we need it. Okay, so now while that's wet, the Mod Podge is wet, we need to start with some of our heavier glitters or our heavier pieces. And I think what I'm going to start with are the little diamonds. Now we can always add more later, but I want to just get some of these on while the Mod Podge is really wet so it'll stick. And they're everywhere. Okay, so I'm just going to very carefully tap. It's already looking pretty. And we don't need to fill anything in because we're going to, whoa, we are going to probably be going back over this. Now I'm going to use this glitter and I might do it heavy in a couple of spots and just lighter here and there. Okay. And I do think I want to use just a few of the pink color because I think it'll help set it off. And I'm hoping that my Mod Podge is heavy. And it might not be, so let's see what we can do here. I'm going to just kind of see if I can get some areas real thick. And I'm just kind of letting it drip off of my brush. And I want to make sure I can get a few areas fairly heavy so that I can use the bigger pieces. Never done this before, but it sure looked like a lot of fun. Okay, so I'm not going to worry about what's loose on there right now. The next thing I'm going to do is do a little bit of the iridescence. And this just is some old glitter I've had hanging around for a long time. And that'll help fill in some of these areas. I don't want to make it full because I still have some of my teals to put on here. And a little bit of silver. And we'll be able to add more as we go if we need it. All right, now my, my really pretty mixture. This is pretty. And I do have a lighter color and it's a little bit on the holographic look. So I'm gonna just kind of fill in a couple of areas here. Let's get this open further. There. Come on. I think this is turning out really pretty. Now I'm going to try for a few more of the rocks or the vase filler. And 
I'm trying now to kind of fill in any place I may have not really gotten a whole lot on. And we'll go over this again with a couple of the other colors. And then this. So we'll let that set for a little bit. And then we will kind of assess what we've got here. And if we need to add more, we'll do that with the Mod Podge and then add a little bit more here and there. Kind of push my rocks down in. And I'm going to take my garbage and I'm going to just dump it. So, so far that's what we've got. And I think it looks really cool. see some areas here where I turn my fan off all right we're gonna let this dry for just a little bit all right I'm just finishing adding some more Mod Podge so that we can get some of the heavier stuff on here. Because it does need to be very thick in order for this to, to stick. Okay, so now I'm going to add my colors in again. We will coat the top of this with a spray Mod Podge so that the stones stay on. Well, how funny is that? There's a little heart. Hmm. Well, let's just put it in here somewhere. Okay. Cute. All right. Let's let this dry for a while. I found some Recollections silver. They're like little beads. I'm going to shake on just a tiny bit of these little silver balls. Just a tiny bit. All right, I found some of my 
uh, glitter glues, I guess they are. And I'm just going to put in a little bit here. I think this looks really pretty. All right, now you can stop anywhere you want. I just think it needs to come up a little bit. because I said I couldn't find um, big pieces to put on here, is I've got these little pearls that I use in card making. And I, they're self stick, but I don't wanna trust that. So I am going to put a few of them in. Zip tie it, pull your loop up.